love the cardio workouts and they're so good for us. You're about to meet Barbara Carlisle. Her story is a perfect example of why you need to pay attention to your heart. Scenery. Even if you don't play a good game of golf, how can you not love being outside? Gorgeous sunshine. This may look like fun, but to Barbara Carlisle, Woo! golf isn't just a game. It's her health strategy to keep this on-the-go businesswoman in tune with her body so she'll spot signs of trouble if they come back. You know, we, we can bring home the bacon and fry it up in a pan, but uh, the truth is we need to relax and we need to pay attention to our bodies. It was here on the golf course that Barbara learned this the hard way. I'd been feeling a little bit tired. That was it, mild fatigue. Sound vague? Barbara didn't think much of it at first. We push ourselves really hard, and so I think we think fatigue is a normal thing. Weeks, months went by, but that general feeling that something wasn't quite right didn't go away. We were playing, and, and she, she wasn't quite herself, and, and she had mentioned there was some tingling and wasn't sure what it was, maybe fatigue. I had this little tingling sensation in my hands. Still, Barbara had no idea of the dramatic changes her body was going through inside. Women don't have these Hollywood heart attack symptoms. The symptoms in women can be so subtle. Barbara had a strong family history of heart disease, but when she experienced these symptoms a decade ago, testing and awareness of women's heart health wasn't what it is now. Everything pointed to negative, no heart problem, when in fact I was a walking time bomb. So Barbara pushed on. To the point that one day I got dressed for work and when I got as far as my car, I realized that my jacket was saturated. And sure enough, I had been sweating. And my hands at that point were really pulsating. And that's when I drove myself into the hospital and said, something's radically wrong. And I was admitted that day. And right here, there's a tight blockage was close to the main trunk. So if that artery had gone down, she would have had a significant heart attack. The fix itself was relatively quick. Doctors at Palo Alto Medical Foundation threaded a stent, a piece of wire mesh, into her artery to hold it open so blood could get through to her heart. The problem with the heart is that you don't grow any new heart muscles. So once the heart is damaged, then you've lost a certain amount of function with respect to your heart. So she was very lucky she came in when she did. Oh, good boy. Are we going to go for a walk? Would that be fun? She listened to herself, and I think that's a lesson that she's taught the family is to be honest with yourself. You know what I think I love about golf the most? Really? Playing with people you love and having fun. What do you give me if I make this putt? Give you a hug. And now for Barbara, being dialed into the truth means she has to stay dialed in to what her body is realistically able to do. Anyway. <laughs> Exercise is a, is a great marker for disease. If you notice that there is a change in your exercise capacity, Yahoo! or if you have any symptoms with exercise, uh, you should definitely check it out with your physician. As women, we care a lot about how we look. We care about our hair, we care about our nails, we care about our personal appearance. Great shot. It's really caring about the internal part, though, that is so critical. Patrick, do you have any great suggestions of how to get out of this sand trap? Yeah, don't put yourself in it. <laughs> I feel fantastic. I have the energy, again, of a 30-year-old. And it's kind of, uh, it's, it's wonderful. I feel great. Woohoo! If you're stressed out all the time, your chance of having heart troubles skyrockets. Talk about motivation to work out.